Welcome to Hemet, California, or the place where they have plenty of closed businesses, filth all over the ground. This is a town you got to be careful because some of the worst drivers in the world live here. But they do have a Chinese food restaurant, of course, the local dollar store, and the area's favorite discount grocery place. It's the land of where all the tweakers live, and today, not too many of them out because it's raining. And plenty of liquor stores. Look at that one. That is cool. Look at that sign. That's neat. A lot of history of this town. They had a train station. Let's go look at it. I'll go there. I'll tell you, they do have a very nice hospital. I don't know if I'd ever want to end up in there. Lots of urgent cares, like that one. And lots of banks, although there probably isn't much money in them. The local burger, burger joint, another bank. There's the historic train station. Of course, there's no trains. You can see down there, there's all those little pylons, so trains can't get through anymore. But you can see that at some point, this was their main means of transportation. And the whole homeless meeting spot. One thing I've got to say is I haven't seen too much tent city going down the main roads. It's probably usually because they just break into a vacant house and sleep in there. Always the Walmart's booming. You can see there's always lots of cars there here. Now that's a well lit liquor store. Look at that sign. It's even on during the day. More homeless guys walking. Over here, there's one. Just looking for something they can grab. Well, too bad I'm not gonna be here at night because if I was here at night, we'd see a lot more homeless people riding bicycles with backpacks. That's usually how they operate around here. So, there's one thing out here that there's plenty of, and that's trailer parks. Because that's the main place for people to live out here since housing is very cheap here there's a lot of people here as well look at those trailers those are a winner right single wide from 1950s man that's where I want to move in storage units a lot of guys live in those things you know or you too can move into an RV park they have those you can live in as well because I don't think you'd be wanting to camp in Hemet, I just don't think there'd be anything you'd want to see. See, now renting. So yeah, you can rent it by the month, stay in a nice little RV park, and uh, you don't even need a 2010 or newer RV like a lot of them do. And lots more trailer parks. Lots of them, all to pick from. What a great place. It is cheap compared to other places surrounding this, but then again, you're in a trailer park. I couldn't imagine what it's like to live in an apartment out here. That would really be fun. And here we are with another RV park, right up the street from the other one. So you can pick from a lot of them to live in. Isn't that wonderful? Cheap living in Hemet, California. There are a lot of little shopping centers like this one where you can get just about anything you want. Like there's a Smart and Final and a Petco. And so you can have a dog and a cat, whatever you want. There's even dental offices. There's a lot of medical places. So if you get sick, you'll probably have a place to go. I'm surprised they still have a theater in town. With COVID, I didn't know if that would be still there. They have plenty of parks, and in the summer, when it's 108, with all the shade they have, it's really nice and comfortable. You'd think in an area where they have all these nice new homes that there would be a lot more really nice areas, but no, you can look and just see how deferred the maintenance is on those. There you go, one of those houses that's closed down boarded up. Probably people living in there too. You can tell by the 
sheets over the windows. It's just really wonderful. Plenty of parking out front with cars usually in the yard. That kind of tells you something. Look at that. You too can sit out in your front yard on the couch. Here's another one of that home. Isn't that a winner winner chicken dinner? Wow. That's nice. I'm sure there was people living in it. That's why they put a fence around it. Any other place, these would be really nice homes. But in Hemet, you just don't know. There's one for sale. How would you like to be selling your house in the same neighborhood as that other house? Cars with a flat tire out in the street. There's one that's wrecked out front. How about that? And this is one of the nicer neighborhoods. One more look at that one. Wow. Back there, there was a guy peeping over the wall to see if I was one of the cops or something. Sorry, dude. Cops don't drive Audis. It's really funny when you go by and you see these really nice parts of town and then right up the street, a house that's all tore up. Let's look how nice that is there. Nice new shopping center and homeless people and houses torn up with windows broken out right up the street. Yeah, it looks like another business went under on a main street too. Looks like it's been vacant for a while and somebody's getting their car repossessed. More trailer parks, lots of them for all ages. Worn out 50s trailers, look at it, they haven't been painted in years. And what is that, is that a senior center? I don't know. Another really nice apartment, huh? And this is all right up the street from that house with the windows broke out. Another business torn down. Another house empty. And we're still amidst a housing boom. Look at that one. Winners. These are really the nice neighborhood with the broken down cars in the front yard. And you too can have a chain link fence and have cars for everybody to see. Nice small houses. Very nice actually. Duplex. Nice painted fence, junk everywhere in your yard, trash. One pretty nice house, a little bit not so nice. Then one that's really kind of dilapidated and right up the street from this. Isn't that great? That's why they don't need homeless shelters in this city, because they just live in those old houses. Very nice of the city to hem it to do that. And this one's for sale, how about that? Move right in, very nice architecture, but just too bad you're in a neighborhood like this. How about that apartment? Move in ready. Have some of those homeless guys riding by on their bicycles, ready to steal anything that you have, so Make sure you lock it up when you're in town. Yeah, how about those apartments? These are the wonderful ones down here. Park. And then you have a mobile home but park that, like this. They actually keep it better than the people selling. Yeah, this one's not too bad, but it's right near that other place where they had all the homeless people. And these are the kind of row homes they have in Hemet with well, well manicured yards and very nice actually so you two can live up the street from this how'd you like that in your front yard so the neighborhood we were in earlier was one of the nicer neighborhoods with the blown out houses these are the older ones so this gives you an idea of the real Hemet chain link fences in your front yard because chain you don't want people people yeah look at that well manicured yard there really nice and the paints peeling on the trim trim on that place like that's very well maintained actually right up the street from trailer parks I think Hemet's one of the trailer park capitals of the world or you can be right across the street in a duplex how about that in the wonderful city of Hemet next to another trailer park 
Wow, this one's a big one. Lots of rock yards in there. Then you have these kind of neighborhoods. This is called a senior living neighborhood. What a great time to spend your old golden years around here in a neighborhood just like this. Duplex homes. Yeah. I don't think that guy's a senior. But this is definitely a senior neighborhood. You have to be 55 and older to own a home in here. Next to another trailer park. Lots of them. More trailer parks. Lots of them to choose from. Very cheap to live in. That's what him is all about. Cheap living. Yeah. Check that out. This is a big one. Right across the streets, senior living. A little nicer homes over there. Well, you guys, we're now leaving heaven. So I hope you enjoyed the wonderful view of the wonderful place of Hammock, California, where you too can own a home and live cheap. Talk to you on the next video. Love to see your comments.